All right. There's a take I really don't like. It's, of course, this right here, that Googling is the primary job of a software engineer. And obviously, 95% is an extreme thing. It's meant to be kind of satire, tongue-in-cheek. But I just hate this take because it is a mentality that I see among a lot of junior engineers that that is the job. That is it. You just Google everything. You're perpetually Googling at all points for everything you need to do. And I think there is some truth to that in the sense that the newer you are to something, the more you need to go look up how something works. You don't even know the questions to ask. You're just trying to solve it step by step. I get that. That's a real thing. And your hope is that that goes down over time. And it should go down over time, right? You shouldn't always be Googling the same thing over and over again. But there's something more to it. Uh, one thing I see is that, especially a, young, a lot of these newer engineers, is that they that there's like this helplessness to them. Like this, hey, how do I solve this? Hey, where do I start? What what should I build? How should I, you know, there, there's this constant need to ask for direction. There's the constant need to ask what even to do. Yet there's no homework being done. There's no like, hey, I've tried these things. Hey, I've done this, you know, this set of tasks. Instead, it's just like, I know there should be an answer. I don't see the answer, obviously. Tell me what to do. And for me, this is one of the, this is kind of the symptom of this whole thing, which is like this learned helplessness, this this idea that you cannot defeat your own problems. Something either gives you the answer or you don't know how to do it. And I, I feel bad about this because in my head, how I look at things is Google is akin to intellect, right? It's the ability to solve a problem. You have a problem. You put it in Google. Google's going to give you an answer and you're going to solve it. But that's not wisdom, right? Wisdom is the ability to know what questions to ask, to know what problem to solve. And if you aren't striving for that, if you aren't gaining that, but instead you're always at stage one, how do I solve X? How do I solve X? How do I solve X? And you're re-Googling, you're redoing that. You're never really moving fast on projects. You're never really building out big things. You're always in tutorial boot camp hell. I mean, that's tough. I, I, I feel really bad about that, man. I and I know there's a lot of you that are kind of in that phase. And, you know, I'm sorry. I wish, I wish it wasn't the case. But I really want you to take this home that to be a great engineer, you do have to memorize a bit. You do have to learn it. You should sit down, read some documentation, really take things in. RTFM, right? Um, read that friendly manual. You should. You should just know that that's just, that shouldn't just be part of the job. That should be a lifestyle. That should be something you want to do. That should be something you strive to be at. You know, I saw somebody say, well, my goal isn't to be good at a language. It's to be able to solve problems. And though that is a take, I don't really like that take in the sense that you should want to be good at the language. That should be a goal. That is a cornerstone of how to build good software is to be good at the language, right? I want to be good at Rust for the sake of being good at Rust such that when I solve harder problems, I can solve them efficiently, idiomatically, and in a way that when someone else comes and looks at the solution, they know how to proceed forward because I didn't just do something completely bizarre because I didn't know what I was doing. And so taking pride, becoming a great engineer is... Sure, there's a lot of soft skills, all that kind of stuff, blah, 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 blah. Everyone will always preface everything. You say, whoa, whoa, whoa. But the reality is that there's also a lot of hard skills required. Take the time. Become good. Try to solve problems. Google is not a starting point. Google is a destination. Theo gave me that one right there, and I really appreciate that, right? Which is just, hey, when you have a problem, can you solve it? Can you look things around? What's going wrong? Can you identify the root cause? Can you make those steps forward towards actively figuring out what's happening? When you hit a final breaking point where there's just no more going forward, Google's a great place to go to. But that doesn't mean it's a great place to start at. First, try to solve things. Hey, I hope you like this content. You know, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of like just doing it, right? There's no breaks here. I didn't I didn't plan anything. I just went straight into it, spoke from the heart. Hey, I really appreciate you guys. If you like this, this is the side channel type of content you're going to get. Raw Dog and Prime. The name is the Primogen.